What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great Taco Tuesday. You know, I went over, I got myself some tacos because you always feel better when you're eating some tacos, and I thought about taking the extremely hot hot sauce and just pouring it in my eyes, and that's literally how I feel with what's going on with the Cowboys at the moment. You know, we have high, we have re-signed our long snapper. We have made sure that Trey Lance is here for the season. And um, we re-signed a journeyman defensive tackle last week. And that's it. And we currently have Deuce Vaughn at five foot six as a running back. Uh, every one of our linebackers that we have have had a major injury. We're talking about neck, back, and knee uh, of the three. We have probably lost two offensive linemen for sure. Um, I'm, I'm pretty positive Tyron Smith will get a job, but it's just the question is, is where? And the Joneses seem to be okay with just figuring three million and a half is enough money for running back. So already you're beginning to hear the rumblings that it's all Dak Prescott's fault. We heard Jane Slater um, say that um, Dak Prescott may be prepared to play out the last year of his contract and then walk. You have to wonder with the Joneses literally not extending Mike McCarthy, hiring Mike Zimmer on a one-year deal, and not getting Dak Prescott's contract done, letting all of their free, agencies go, free agents go. And um, only restructuring Zach Martin to get $2 million. It feels like this is we're cleaning house season. That this is going to be the Cowboys red shirt year. Which I'm sure will make a lot of Cowboy fans happy. And shout out to my buddy Wade. Wade shared this with me. Um, free agency shocker from uh, G-Bag Nation. Day one. And... I want you to listen to this and hear how it's already turning on Dak Prescott. That literally, if we go ahead and get rid of Dak and have somebody like Kirk Cousins or, or Baker Mayfield with a cheaper contract, then we go out and we get some more people. Let's listen in. Years in 160. That's uh, $32 million from him. That's not a breaking news story, but it's pretty cool. Kirk Cousins, 4 and 180 with the Atlanta Falcons. Does that make you feel differently about the Dak Prescott negotiation that's coming up? I mean, he's going to get about $15 million less than what Dak Prescott is going to get. I, I, I think this is point Dak doubters, you know, and Dak homers. You got to prove to me why your guy is 30% better than Kirk Cousins. You know, and I, I just, I don't think it's there. I, I think these teams like Atlanta and Tampa are now doing it right. I'd rather have Cousins at that money, Mayfield at his money, than Dak Prescott at somewhere 57, 58, 60 million bucks. I think Dak's probably still going to end up getting what he wants in this. It seems like that's how negotiations go. And he's got uh, a cutthroat agent and Todd France, who's very, very good at this. But I hear yeah. you. I mean, when you look at kind of the the success, the production that Kirk Cousins and Dak have had, it's very, very similar. Yeah, I think the only thing you could look at right now, obviously age, and then you have Kirk Cousins off an Achilles injury. So Sure, but the Cowboys paid Dak after the ankle injury, right? So they don't seem like they care. No, I 100% I agree, but when you're trying to figure out why should Dak be getting more than Kirk Cousins, I think that's where you Don't would point to, would hey, that. he's older, Kirk Cousins is older, and uh, he's also coming off a pretty catastrophic injury as well. So those would be some of the things, but I'm with you guys. I, 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 I'd much rather pay less for, ultimately, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. I understand that regular season Dak and his numbers blow Baker Mayfield's out of the water. Yeah. Baker Mayfield's best QBR year is less than Dak's worst so i understand that but ultimately to the playoffs what then that's really what this comes down to now we're past like the last i i cannot stand hearing the mvp seasons Dak just had MB, yeah. mvp season Dak just had who cares 
and he didn't even win it. Like it was a down year for the MVP. We're wondering, is a running back going to get it or is a non-quarterback going to get it? Because we don't even know. And in a down MVP year, your guy couldn't even get it. And in playoff moments throughout the regular season, Niners, Bills, doesn't show up, doesn't even give you a chance. And then you get to the playoffs at home, doesn't give you a chance. So yes, if you, I am as out on Dak as, as any, I mean, as, as you could really be, but I would still, I would take Baker Mayfield right now for $30 million over Dak for, for that. And, and either, and I will say this, I wouldn't want to do the Baker deal either because ultimately your ceiling is with Baker, yeah. basically what Dax is. Yeah. So it's not like anything's really changing. Ultimately, you don't do either one of those things and you go find a, a super cheap quarterback in the draft and you hope he's a stud. That's like the way that. you actually do it, unless you just want to, like Tampa's telling you right now for Tampa fans, hey, we are very happy being in the worst division in football. We feel like we can host a playoff game with Baker Mayfield probably two out of the next three years, and we know that is as good as it's going to get for us, and that's fine, but at least they're only paying $30 million for that and not whatever Dak's going to get. Double. Brian? Yeah, I mean, the, the determination you have to make is, like you guys have talked about, can you can you actually get to and win a Super Bowl with Dak Prescott or with, you know, Baker Mayfield or Kirk Cousins? Wow. The answer is no. See, so that's so if if what gives you the best chance to maybe get to the Super Bowl then? What Not you, having any one of those quarterbacks. Okay. I have to have one of these quarterbacks, though. Who do I need? the Who can I take? Who I could take their money and help my team. Who gives you the best chance then? You know what Dak. I'm saying? Well, Dak, if you could take all that money and help That's your team. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If somehow you can get Dak to agree to what Kirk Cousins and those guys and Baker Mayfield are doing, then there's your chance to at least get to a Super Bowl. Well, with these other quarterbacks, you're not. At least extend Dak so well that you free up that to happen one year. You know, That's th- there's saying. a way you could get Dak all yeah. of his money, but then yeah. backload it to the point where you're like, this is going to be our year where we have yeah. all of his money to spend on other players or a big chunk of his money to spend if on other players. If you could somehow get Dak to take the same money these guys are taking, you'd feel great. Absolutely. Because, yeah, you, know, than them. because you know Dallas will be able to find players. Yeah, Atlanta can't find players. Tampa, maybe. You know, they get lucky every once in a while down there with Jason Light. Here's the problem, though, when Jerry Jones owns your team. He's saying, well, yeah, Kirk Cousins makes 45 and Dak 60, and that costs me more against the cap, but I more than make up for that $15 million in revenue because of what Dak Prescott is for our marketing. And I, I think whenever you're trying to balance winning the Super Bowl and making money, you're a pretender, not a real contender. Uh, Wolchuk hits you with the news. Gardner Minshew has gone uh, to the there Raiders. Go. So here we are. It's Dak's fault. It's Dak's fault. It's Dak's fault that we are in this mess. It's Dak's fault that we don't have any money. It's Dak's fault that he made this contract for the Cowboys. It's Dak's fault that we paid Zeke Elliott. It's Dak's fault that we signed Michael Gallup and paid him. It's Dak's fault that we traded Amari Cooper. And this is where I honestly have to say, you know, again, you can pay me $40 million and say whatever the hell you want to about me, and I'm okay. I will smile. Go ahead. Throw tomatoes and everything at me because I'm going to go to the bank and be happy. But at some point, when you get so much trash that no matter what you do, you know, you can come back early from a broken thumb and, and lead your team to the playoffs. You can go through and have a catastrophic ankle injury and come back. You can be, you know, a finalist for the league MVP two or three years, and yet you get no love and no respect, and that they literally trash you. At some point, you kind of say, you know what, let's let them find out what it's like without me. We are literally at the point of saying we'd rather have Kurt Cousins or Baker Mayfield than Dak Prescott. You know, sometimes in life, you don't know how good you have it until you F it up and you lose it. Five o'clock, we'll be going live. I'll be getting the mailman in here for the funeral for the Dallas Cowboys 2024 season. Peace.